Now you say when you were keep it, certain things that y'all do what? Yeah, you was talking about like 30s or whatever. Like, yeah. only time I'm around stuff like that is like when I'm with Keith or say to them in the studio or something like that. But I'll try my best to stay away from that. You ever try how to hold one down? Put one in your purse or some shit like that? Well, I don't want to say I'll hold one down, but like when we in the car driving, it been a couple of times that he uh, put some things up or something like that. But me personally holding stuff, nah. So you, so at one point in time, it was safe to say you was with the shit. Well, not, no, no, I was not with the shits. No, I was not. Like, when it came, it, with, with Keith, it's like, I always had his back, basically. I had his back. I was in his corner, yes. But as far as me, like, dealing with shit, like, option and all that shit, I tried to stay my distance. But we keep it always with some drama that he always had going on. So, it been a couple of times I had to get him at that gym. Wow, wow. What was the, the most dangerous situation y'all was, uh, was in besides the diet shit? Like, some shit that you, you like, oh, this shit's gonna go down. The dangerous situation is when keeping them had got into something on on Front Street, and we ended up riding into the studio and with DJ Ken, and somebody kicked in the front door, and when they kicked in the front door, DJ Ken always had these dogs, so the dogs would like run out, and they I don't know if they shot the dog, I just know shots just went just went off, the shots were just going off, and me and Keith just Keith just threw me over the back gate or whatever. Yeah. Like, he, he literally picked you up and threw you over the gate. Yeah, he picked me up, threw me over the gate, or whatever. Also, saving your life shit. Right. Damn. So, that's about it. That's the most hilarious accident we ever been in before. Wow. So, y'all really been through some dramatic situations that the world may never know about. Mm -hmm. And I want to I speak on a, a, another issue I'll be saying. Like, um... Like, the child support shit. Like, I saw some shit you put up, some shit like 26K... <laughs> was, was, was all that shit real? Was that shit just... Okay, first that off, shit was like screenshots or what? Everything that I be posting is real. It's just that some people, they like to add like flattery to it or something like that. Now, as far as me and keeping our cases, everything is like still pending or whatever. But it's like it's certain stuff that they do like to help me as far as like child support payments and stuff like that. Now, do I get child support like legally like out of his payments and stuff like that? No. No, I do not. But when it comes down to like us going to court, his attorneys and all them, they reach out and they like just do like certain payments into like they're able to get in contact with him and see like when we basically come to a mutual agreement. Wow. So the world never knew that, huh? No, they just was like looking on the outside, looking in. Basically, when I just throw shit out there, they're just be like, oh, that's child support money or blah, 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 this, blah, blah, that. I get my own money. That's what I do. Do I get his money as well? Of course, I suppose to. It's like that's for my son. Like he never comes to a mutual agreement. So could you see yourself um ever dating so so again? If he reached out like, come on, let's do this for the kid, for the wealth like If Keith ever reached out to me and tried to see his son, I would never hold him back. I would never I'm talking a relationship. A like, relationship with Keith, no. I would not get into no relationship with Keith. Even though he a worldwide superstar right now. No. His, I mean, he's getting into a relationship with females daily on the basics. So, like, it's something that's different that he's going to do. Besides mm. just have another baby and continue on with his life. Wow. If you had to go back in your past and change one thing about your YouTube situation, what would you change? The only thing that I would change is I believe that I should have reached out to him and let him know. Like, from the beginning, from the beginning of my pregnancy to the end. Like, that's the only thing I believe that I would have changed. How often are you on Sosa's Instagram? I am not on Sosa's Instagram because we are both um, blocked. He blocked me on his Instagram and he's blocked on mine. So I haven't been on Keep Instagram in probably like a year and a half. Why Why you? Why y'all two block each other? Um, we got, Because people started knowing about me more and people would start tossing him on his page. Like, you a dead beat, you this, you that. Tagging me in like everything that he would ever post, and I guess he just wanted to block. He blocked me. Wow, wow. I early. I just want to say this one more time. Um, uh, you said that um that like Sosa was a freak. <laughs> like, like yes. he was a real like a real real freak. Like like going crazy. He was on top, hitting the front of the back. <laughs> did y'all hold up? Did y'all ever? You did y'all? <laughs> I got I got an access. The fans want to know. Did y'all ever like get sick? Like I know at that point in time he was he was still he was a gangster ass nigga. He was a street nigga. So did he ever use like whipped cream and, and <laughs> hold on, hold on. 
whipped cream, rose petals, or did he have a, or he like, fuck that shit, bang, bang, let's go in a abandoned building, lay you on a dirty mattress, rest, rest, rest. Like, how was it? Like, yeah, I'm just, I want to see how social okay. was. Okay, um, no, he don't get, he don't get that romantic. He don't go into the petals and stuff like that. His way of getting romantic is getting off the shits, getting off the drugs, getting drunk and stuff like that. That's like his way of getting romantic. But we'll get, we have fun. We'll get into it deeply or whatever. We always, we did a lot of stuff, a lot of places. Yeah. What, what, what was the most craziest place I ever did that? <laughs> you, you got it. Was it the movie theaters, the park, outside Old Block, like the Cornerstone, <laughs> Front Street? No, we ain't never done nothing for us, though. Like, um, we had come from his, we had have fun at his grandma's house, mama's house. Sometimes we, one time, I don't know, had happened outside, but it happened outside. Yeah. Um, we just had a lot of fun, a lot of places. We just ended up everywhere. So, the, 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 was Chief Keith, like, in, in the bed, was he the man? Like, was he, like, a one-minute nigga or what? Chief very freaky. If you if y'all asking me is he blessed? Yes, he is blessed with everything that he do. Like um, actually I would give it one day. He like probably one of my best sex partners that I had. Yeah, <laughs> that's crazy. <laughs> Damn, shorty, you going crazy? <laughs> Not for real though. He yeah. is. He is. He know what to do with everything. Yeah, so, so um, was you ever around? Like, you ever been in a room while Chief Keef was writing some of his hits? Um, yeah, um, one of his hits, John Madden. You was there for that? Yeah, I was there for John Madden. Um, he did his John Madden video. I sat there. So, usually, he always had, like, this little wall that he'd have all his little bitches saying when they come over. His bitches? Yeah. Wow, I need to make something like that. <laughs> Well, hold on, so he had, so they have literally signed a wall. Yeah, he literally like had a marker on his wall, and he had all the girls he ever did some with just saying their names on the wall. And I remember when he made his John Madden video, I just wrote my name real big over the whole wall for everybody's name. Damn. So every time I see that video, I just be looking at my little name in the background like, I remember that. Are you, and I'm going to ask this, no disrespect intended, are you honestly... Glad that Chief Keith, aka Keith Kozart, aka Sosa Bathman of Chirac, are you glad that he bust in you uh, all? <laughs> like, um, I'm happy with him. I'm satisfied with Keith. Like. I'm not gonna say that it was I'm not gonna say that I'm just happy that he's famous now and it just occurred like that, but I wanna take my son back for none in the world, so I'm actually happy that he blessed me with my son. Yeah, I'm happy. Wow, wow. That's amazing, man. It's 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 been an honor to have you live and direct with Zach TV One. This is your first ever <laughs> interview, correct? Yes, it is. Wow, man, this is this is crazy. Hey, you so you've been on Front Street, you've been on O Block, have you ever been to six hundred? Yeah, I've been on 600. Um, I talked to Ide a couple of times. Hold on, you know Ide? Of course I know Ide. Hello, Ide! Ide! Yeah. King Cooper! Yes, I know Ide. He cool. We met up a couple of times. Fast Green, he have to whatever. So, he So, I've been on 600 a couple of times. I be everywhere. Like, I don't feel like I need to, like, stay a distance. I've been on SEL. I've been in Sukaville. I go over there. I kick it. Me and Doug kick it. I don't smoke. I don't drink. So I basically just be over there, like when they drop in a new video or something like that. Okay, so you not so so. It's not safe to say she's affiliated with O Block. She's affiliated with STL. She's affiliated with Sukaville. She's affiliated with Six Hundred. No. Front Street. None of that. Mm -mm. I don't affiliate myself with none of that. I just kick it with everybody. I respect everybody who respects me. Basically. Wow! 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 That's what's up, man. And, and what, what was the age that you you said you met Sosa in 2012, right? Um, no, I met him in 2011. I had my son in 2012. Wow. Yeah. And, and the relationship went sour in 2013? Yeah, it went sour in 20... It went sour like five, six months after him being signed. Like five, six months after him being signed. You think the money changed him? I believe so. That's what I believe. I believe the fame, the money, everything like just changed him. Like... Cause he wasn't like that. Like yeah, we just, always was working was, hard, right? So I never understood like for our relationship. Like, that. like, tell me about a, 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 a. I know you said that y'all like it got to the point that y'all was having sex. You know what I'm saying? That you know anyway, like y'all was on, on some freak shit. Y'all had look. So were you in love with him at one point? Like real love? 
Well, I won't say that I was in love, but I was basically, it was basically just, a, we just basically had fun. Like, we never, when you sing Keith, you sing me. When you sing me, you see Keith. So, it was basically like, everybody knew me from being with Keith. And then, it's just like, it was just certain stuff that we wasn't seeing out of ad. Like, him and his other baby mama, we have a dispute, and it just Oh, hold on. He had a baby mama at the time y'all was working out? Yeah, me and Kate, me and um, Jabba. We was pregnant, I believe, at the same time, if I'm not mistaken. Wow. Yeah, so. Damn, that's crazy, man. Yeah. Wow. So that's so why I'm guessing that me and her don't see eye to eye. I mean, we had a conversation before over the phone. We talked basically the whole conversation was just an argument. And I just feel like it's not worth it not giving her another chance of a conversation. I understand that. Do you ever think one day, like, fuck it, I'm going to pack up my bags, me and my son are going to go and just surprise Keith and be on his doorstep? <laughs> 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 no, I'm just like... No, I I feel like what Keith's doing, I'm going to just let him do what he got to do. At the end of the day, it's not like his back is completely turned because he's still, like, doing certain shit that he don't really have to do to reach out to help me and my son, like, helping us provide. So, I don't feel like I do that. Like, no... But what I do want to do is, I do want for my son to know his sisters and his brothers. Wow. So, so it's safe to say Chief Keith isn't a deadbeat. Yes, Keith is a deadbeat. Because at the end of the day, you have to be in your child's life. Oh, like, so he's not physically... In, he's not in, physically there, emotionally there, financially there. Because it's certain stuff that he has to do to help my son, like to provide for my son as well. Uh, he's not doing that. He's not meeting for serious. He's not coming to court. He's not doing none of that. His lawyer... Which is, I'm not going to say too much about his lawyer, but his lawyer, we see out of app. So okay. it's like certain stuff that she do for me. Okay. Wow. Wow. Jesus, man. You, 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 you shed a light on a lot of, a lot of shit. Um, do, now, do you have a relationship with Sosa, like his siblings, his, like, he got a brother and sister, correct? Yeah, he got a little brother and a little sister. And his sister is going to school to be a lawyer. Yeah, she been wanting to be a lawyer since she was a baby, since she was little. And you still talk to him? Um, no, I don't talk to his sister. Um, we used to, but. I